everyone, I'm Ann Burchard. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today we're going to make this lovely card. I use the Happy Anniversary card with the many messages. I'll link, I'll have a link up at the top right on how I made all these sentiments and I keep them in bags. This is black on top of very vanilla. So this card is happy anniversary for my brother and his lovely bride. And then the next one I'm going to make is hooray it's your birthday for my cousin's wife. So let's go ahead and make a card. I'm going to be using the hybrid bloom hybrid embossing folder and matching die set. I'll show it to you here in a bit. I cut, um, Fresh Freesia at five and a half. We'll score at four and a quarter or just fold it in half. Get your bone folder out. Loud noise. Give it a good press. And now set that aside. I'm going to bring in my cut and emboss. Actually, I'm going to trim this down. This is also fresh freesia, and I'm going to cut it down with my, so sorry, cut it down with my paper trimmer to five and a half, I'm sorry, five and a quarter, one more time, five and a quarter by four. And then this will give a nice border, even though it's tone on tone, it's still gonna give it a nice border going around. Let me grab that, set this aside, trash. Now here comes the hybrid portion of it. Here is the embossing folder. When you see the Stampin' Up! logo, that's the right side up. From the die set, there is the three bundles. You just rotate it till it matches and it nestles in there. So you know it's on there perfectly. Then I'm gonna take the fresh freesia, lay it on top, and I'm using the, the line here from the logo. It's kind of a guide to make sure it is square. Squeeze it, flip it over. That looks great. I'm using the cut and emboss machine, platform one, my project, and then the number four plate. Crank that through. Make a lot of noise. There you go. You have cut and embossed all in one motion. Let me set this aside. And now look. Take this out. It has an emboss and cut at the same time. What a time saver. And it's such a great idea. Oh, now it's stuck. If it's stuck, just bend it up a little bit. That'll release it, the cardstock, and take it out. You will get lines from the cut, but it's not going to destroy your embossing folder. Go ahead and set that aside. I've already folded this in half. I'm going to take my adhesive, make sure I get all the way around. Don't want any of this popping up, because that's not where we want to pop. I'm going to get a little bit in here with my glue, because I don't think I can get the tape runner in there. A little bit around. All right. Then we'll take this. You decide what you want up and down. And sorry if my head's in the way. And I'm gonna make sure there's an even border all the way around. And then commit. There we go. Ooh, so pretty. This is one of the simplest, quickest cards. The back of these flowers, I'm going to add dimensionals. Don't forget to use these ends. All I do is take my snips, cut around the edges of the dimensionals, 
you paid for it, you might as well use it. I'm going to go a little crazy with the dimensionals to make sure this does not get squished going through the mail. If you haven't already done so, text Ann Burchard, all caps, all one word, to the number 22828 to get on my monthly mailing list. I send out tips, tricks, techniques, and any specials that Stampin' Up! may have. And if you sign up, I will send you one in color ink pad of your choice. Who doesn't like free stuff? And also, celebration is going on to the end of September 2021, where every $50 you purchase, you will get a free gift of your choice. Right. Okay, now the, lining this up and I'm okay if this isn't perfect. Gives it that more dimension. Just placing these right back in. You could also do complementary colors. If you did it in white, you could use your brush, blending brushes to add some color. That would be gorgeous. A little bit more. There we go. Line it up. Oh, so pretty. Clean off. Okay, and like I said, I've already stamped and die cut. It's a one stamp, one die. And you get these wonderful sentiments. Let me show you. I stamped white on black, black on white, and black on very vanilla. I am set to go. dimensionals to the backing. That's good. And let's see, I think I'll throw it up here this time. Tuck it in just a little bit. Grab your Wink of Stella. Gotta have your Wink of Stella. Push where it says push and I'm just going to give these petals a little bling. Don't have to be an artist for this. Just smoosh it on. Bring in some pearls. These are the pastel pearls. And my take your pick tool, you're gonna use the putty end, push and swipe away. And it comes right off. Remember groups of threes. There's one, not groups of threes, odd numbers. Three is an odd number. And let's get down here. There we go. <laughs> That's it. If you want to decorate, I would put the very vanilla on the inside and add another sentiment if you want. Well, thank Hey, it's future me. I decided to decorate the inside using Art in Bloom, which is the matching stamp set. So let's go for it. I put very vanilla. I cut it at five by three and three quarters. This is fresh freesia. I'm going to grab scratch paper. This is my sewing pattern. I'm going to ink up the, I'm gonna go this way, a little bit easier. Ink up those blooms, the blossoms that we cut out and embossed and I'm going to stamp it off once, twice, oh no just once because I want it nice and light in the background. Let's go for it. Get it, get it, get it. 
get it and then commit. Ooh, how pretty. And I can still write over it. Oh, I like it. I like it, I like it. For these bigger stamps, it's easier to take the ink to the stamp set instead of the stamp set into the ink. And I see I got my corners here and I wanna make sure that doesn't transfer to my project. All right. Let's give it another stamp right about, there we go. Oh, pretty, pretty, look. Oh wait, these are white. I want very vanilla. Stand by. Let me get some very vanilla. Head and stamp these as well. Make sure it's going the right way. Add some fresh freesia. And this set, if you buy the stamp set and the embossing folder and the dies, ten percent off. Oh, hoo -hoo, pretty. One more. Make sure it's the right way. And go. Ha ha. See you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this crafting experience with the civil engineer. Make sure to like, comment, share, and I will see you next week. Have a great day. Bye.